Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Sprinkles Delights and on today we will be making air fried chicken and steak loaded baked potatoes. So let's get started. And here I have my baked potatoes that I just sprayed oil on and salted them. Put them in the air fryer. And then I wanted to salt the other side. And we just put them into the air fryer for 100. As far as it will go, it's 30 minutes. So once that 30 minutes was over, we had to add an additional 10 minutes. And here I have all my seasonings and cut up chicken breast and steak bites. So now the potatoes are done. And again, that was a total of 40 minutes. You don't have to flip them unless you want to. Now I'm going to take a basket that I got from Walmart out of the grill section. Um, since I am doing steak bites, which you can use any cut of steak that you like, um, this will keep it from, um, since they're very small pieces, it'll keep it all together. And this is just totally optional if you want to do that. But you can take the steak, cut it in small strips, and cut it in chunks like I did the chicken as well. Put it in the air fryer, and I did hit the um, steak button which was 400 for nine minutes. And as you can tell, it was gonna cook pretty fast because it is small pieces of steak. So you wanna base your time on the thickness and the size of your steak pieces. And here I have the chicken that has been seasoned and I'm going to put that in the air fryer on top of a um, parchment paper round. I'll put a link in the description for you guys for those. And here I am going to spray them just a little bit to kickstart them. Put them into the air fryer. And I cook the chicken breast for 390 for 12 minutes. Shaking halfway. And here's the chicken. And now we're going to build this potato. I took the potato, cut it up, and put some butter and some salt and pepper inside. And now we're going to take some Gouda cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. I like Gouda on everything. Packed it down a little bit. And then we added some sharp cheddar that I shredded myself. Um, when you use um, the block and shred it yourself, it melts better versus the bag cheese because it does have that wax on it that keeps it from melting as nicely as you would like. So... After you've done your cheese, you can microwave for a few seconds to melt that cheese down in there. Add your chicken and your steak in no particular order. And you can also add grilled shrimp to this as well. And then you want to add your steak. And now we're just going to add sour cream um, to the potato, which is totally optional. And then I'm going to take um, steak sauce. You don't have to use steak sauce, but um, steak sauce goes good with chicken and steak. So, and just drizzle it across the top. And of course I added some parsley. Parsley makes everything pretty. So here you guys have it. An air fried steak and chicken baked potato. 
As always, thanks for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.